Hello, and welcome to SoberCast, where we provide AA speaker meetings and workshops in podcast format. We're an ad-free podcast, and if you enjoy listening, please help us be self-supporting by visiting SoberCast.com, look for the donate link, and drop a dollar or two into our virtual basket. We hope you enjoy the podcast. Have a great day. Now I've been sober a while, taken some drunks through the steps, and I've read all the books with them. Now what? For me and for them. I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. Does... Okay. Just nod your head. So, so, so you... And for a while, so I can scan the room. Who here has, has thought, yeah, I've done everything. Why, you know, is this all? Anybody relate to that stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I worshiping method is you know like one 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 like that guy that we got into got to, got to speak at the book storage facility in Iceland. He said I don't remember anything that he said during the, the two things that I remember from that talk is the massive applause. It's like a wall of sound. And the the, the other thing he said was, what do you think you know is the noose around your neck? Ah. So, I did the arts and crafts steps for a certain way. And I had the guys do it a certain way. Uh, the the people that can be asked to 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 ask me for help or say yes to my approaches when I'm when I'm hitting on them uh, are usually too crazy to fill out a form. Okay, so I what I tried what what I did was I changed the method. I told them, just write down all the people you hate. And let's start there. And I would take one guy who didn't stay sober, and then he got sober again and didn't stay sober because he had a better idea. I took him down to the lake in Reykjavik, where I would take guys and have them meditate. And we would write the inventory together. Or I would just basically sit there and, 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 and wait while he wrote inventory. So the the point of that story is I'm not, I'm not going to talk about let's talk about inventory. Um, I my the method I use and the method you use is not important. There is a lot of room for experimentation. Uh, when I was when I was three years sober just short, shy of three years older. I went and wrote inventory with three friends. And I did that, read the inventory, read my post to them. They read their post to me. That's experimentation, okay? I have sat in, 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 in with, I sat with, uh, with the guy that assaulted me, and we heard somebody else's poster. Two, two on one. Okay. Um, and but the the the, the method thinking. Okay, if you're honest with your about your think your train of thought, you know you will find out that there is some stuff that is wrong, okay? It's, it's dysfunctional. That is, it works, sort of, but not as it should. Not as well as it should. It, you know, it's, 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 it's like, a, it's like a, a busted shock absorber. It works, sort of, but not as well as it should, okay? And it will affect the rest of your life. 
of the rest of the car. So what this I would tell the guy that that, that I picked up from the psych ward and, and I, I told him the belief system that I had then and this is two thousand and five I think I told them I know how to work these steps. If the newcomer wants to know how to work these steps, he can just ask me. And that's dysfunctional thinking. Because he, it doesn't matter how great my method is if I'm not there for him to, to, to help him. And basically, him getting sober basically nuked and paved that, 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 that way of thinking from me. This is about being there from, for the newcomer. But I think that I have this method, and I would try, I would make everybody do laser inventory. Okay? You, you take a sheet of paper, turn it around, put it in landscape mode, write columns on it for, for resentment inventory. You would take another piece of paper, do the same, and write the fear inventory, and you can see a laser pointer through the inventory. It's powerful stuff but not everybody is sane enough to do it. I do theater of the lie. It's an inventory. Uh, where I write regular inventory, and I put a zeroth column with my roles. So I'm an AA. Uh, from time to time, I'm a boyfriend. From time to time, I have, I'm, 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 I have work stuff. I have certain roles, and I write down who is resentful at whom. I'm resentful at myself. It helps a lot with those types of resentments. Everybody here has at one point or another be resentful at themselves, but they don't really understand the, the, the causes and conditions of it. I would worship that method and use it as a, the holy truth of AA. And, and it's, you know, these are guides to progress, you know. There are guides to progress. The fourth step is a guide to progress. It's not progress. It's a guide to progress. You know, it's a milestone. You know, it's it's a it's a sign that says Baron Rouge, 65 miles. You know, it's it's not that important. It's a, it's a, it's a guide to progress. You know, it's it's a sign saying, you know, this way. But I would worship that stuff, and I would. Think that this and that way of thinking, worshiping method, made me think this was all about me. And I had this job, which in hindsight wasn't a really good job, and maybe, and I'm, I was overqualified for the job. We had some guy come from a vendor, and I took him to state radio, and. I would take him to post-production facilities because that was part of the job. And I would show him around the market and he, he, he would say stuff like, did you really bring me to this country to, to sell five seats, five licenses? And in another place he would say, he, he say you've done a lot of damage here as in, a, in a good way. And we go out eat the owner of the company and me and then this dude and one other good dude, sales dude. And I would, it's a place called Argentina, Argentina, and you can get these great steaks and I went for the vanilla ice cream afterwards and I had my Cuban cigar with me because, you know, we don't have an embargo with Cuba. And and I would be, I, I, I'd, I'd go outside and smoke the cigar and and I would think to myself, what do I need AA for? I, I have it made. I have it made. I'm taking this dude who is a big shot at the vendor, and I'm, I'm, they're listening to what I have to say. You know, I am somebody in this business world, la 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 la. And I had a vision. And the vision was a pawn. It's a white pawn on a white square. And it comes immediately 
when I think the thought, what do I need AA from here? What 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 good can AA do for me from here? Which is the topic of the talk, right? <laughs> and and instead of handing in my membership and just, you know, go off on a tangent, I sit, you know, and, and make a decision based on this idea that, you know, I really have it made, I don't need AA anymore. Uh, I sit with it. And this is Friday night, I think. On Sunday, this dude calls me, and he wants to get sober again. He was the great hope for AA. He was the newcomer of the year in Iceland back in the day. And, and he wants to get sober again for, the I think, the third time. And what do you do? I have all the answers, right? I have everything. And I meet him at the clubhouse, and, 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 and I ask him, where does your book open? And he opens his book, and it's chapter 4, and we read chapter 4. I can't tell you what the experience was, but I realized why I was in AA, and I got the rest of the vision. It's a chess table, pawn on a white field zooms out to a chess table, to the whole chess table. And there's one move, one move has been made. It's pawn e4. And the answer to the question, so if the zoomed in version is what could but what can AA do for me? The answer comes out in the, in the zoomed out version. Why don't you want to have this power in your life anymore that has thus far made the change that it has? And I have a lot of answers for that. I have a lot of answers. I'm selfish, I'm self-centered, I'm something, something, something. But those are just words and definitions in my mind. These are just words. And I realized why I do this. Why I read the big book with him. He, he is more or less sober today, that guy. He is more or less sober today. But, and this is not about result. If, you do, if you're going to do AA for result, you're missing out. Just like in that pamphlet that you that you guys have, that we don't in the rest of the world, as far as I know, the members I view of Alcoholics Anonymous, you know, AA is whatever you want to get out of it. If you put in 50,000 work hours into AA, you will get 50,000 work hours back. If you're trying to do, to, 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 you know, 50 hours in the thousandth gear, sorry, you only get 50 hours back. The stuff that I have I have done, you know, uh, you know, I'm I was a like one late great A member said, I was a total failure of living and total failure of dying. And you know, I want I want more out of this program, and I realize that I can only get so far by manipulating you guys to take me there. You know? I can only get so far by manipulating other members to take me there. I have to go there myself. I have to, uh, you know, accept the responsibility. You know, this is... I, I, I'm, I'm here and I'm, I'm, I don't do this. I don't, uh, you know... I don't have, I've never done this before. Be gentle on me. Uh, but, uh, um, but I'm asking, I'm hearing people are coming up to me and they're saying the exact same things that we did in 2003, in 2004, in 2005 when we were getting members from the state to come to Iceland to speak. The exact same questions that the Norwegians in Norway ask the Americans when they come over. The exact same things. There's nothing special about me as such. Sure, you know, I'm, I'm, I have a few qualities. But unused, you know, just ask any woman, you know, any straight woman that is, what good a big penis that she doesn't have access to is to her. 
it's not. You know, it, it's, it's, you know, to give you an analogy that, that everybody understands. So, you know, yes, you, you have big muscles, but if, if you're not lifting anything, you're just showing off. You know. So, the stuff that I have done in my life outside of AA has all been a result of AA. Every, every single thing. The car I bought in 2006, the, my first car that didn't have alcoholism at any point in its life, any time of its life. Okay? And, and the car I'm getting when I get back, back to Norway, or this fall sometime, is the result of me taking responsibility, making my amends, paying my debts, trying to do the right thing. You know, sober time, I'm, I've been sober 14 years, and, and to some people in here, that's a long time. To some people, to other people, it's not. It, and, but let me tell you that it's amazing what you can do in AA if you don't screw up your life again and again and again. Like, like one, one great member, one, not, she's not a member, but she said, she said, the only thing that is worse, only thing worse than screwing up your life is screwing up your life again. Great lady. Uh, and, and, what, you know, if you only, th if you think of AA as something that the others are doing, and you participate in, you are right, you are right, you know, but you are also not getting the full picture. I did something in AA, and that has become a resource for a whole lot of people, a whole lot. I have made a big change in Alcoholics Anonymous, and there, isn't, there are no if, if, ifs and buts about that. But I only, I can't see that stuff. I can only see the guy that I'm next to. And if I'm great, and if I'm awesome, and if I'm, you know, getting a new, new German car, and, you know, blah, 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 and not giving a newcomer attention, you know, that is dying next to me, or a, or a, or a friend that is going squiggly in AA, I'm not giving every, everything back that I could. You know. Sure, so, sober time can be impressive. But there, there were eno enough old timers in AA in, in, in Iceland that didn't have anything I wanted. Didn't have anything. It was, you know, it was the newcomers that had something. My buddy who was with me in the not getting a sponsor club at the group, he betrayed me. He got himself a sponsor. I felt betrayed, you know. And, you know, the sky is the limit, basically, of what you can do. You know, if you're an alcoholic like me, you have to have your feet planted firmly in AA. And I do. But there is no limit on what you can do. I've, 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 you know, I, I, I am coming from, and, and not everybody heard it, but, but I had this white IKEA bed with just a simple mattress, and I would pee in that bed, bed until, and it would dry out, and the soft would turn the mattress crunchy, and and you know I'm coming from that place, and and in Norway I'm some sort of expert in IT, you know, and and you know and people. You know, they, they will lap everything up that I say, you know, in, about computer stuff, you know, and, and, and that is, and I have certifications like, like 31 certifications from one, one vendor. And, and that's, you know, impressive. And people go, oh, mm, he knows what he's talking about. And that is, you know, if, if we, if we move that to, into AA, you know, you're getting me to speak. But there are a bunch of guys here that could do it. But I, 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 I'm, I'm allowed to because I'm the foreigner, right? You know, because you know the guys that could do it, they're just opinionated assholes, right? You know, and 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 I, the, my experience is not the only correct one. It's just, you know, 
I am an example, not the example, but an, an, an example of how AA, what AA does to a man's life. And, and for some it's, it's something. And for others it's, yeah, you know, he's not, you know, his sponsor is not that important or, or something, you know. And I, you, this is not important. What we're doing here is great. It's fellowship and, and it's, it's, it's great. And I make a few good points and, and stuff. Yes, great. But that doesn't matter for the newcomer that isn't here. That's your job. You're the locals. You can affect them. There's a lot of alcoholism in this city, kids. Okay? There's a lot of alcoholism. There must be people that want to stop drinking. Okay? They should be easy to find here. Okay? <laughs> and, and, and I think that's the, the real, you know, the, that's the litmus test of, of how good a program you're working. What are you giving away? And so when, when AA becomes boring, right, there are, different, there are different things you can do. You can do exercises. You can do the Bill Wilson exercise. You can do the belief faith ex- Bill Wilson exercises is from, from, from Bill's story. You take a marker and you mark everything that you, that you are, where you're like Bill. And then you take another colored marker and you mark everything that you haven't done in, in recovery. And those are the things that are going to kill you. That's the Bill Wilson exercise. You can do the belief faith. You take the words belief and faith in the fourth, fourth chapter and you can see, and just by doing it, yeah, sure, you can, you can see the, you, you know right now what I'm saying, that, yeah, there's a difference between belief and faith, but you have to read the text to see where he uses belief and where he uses faith. You know, and, and that's something you can do in the English big book. But you, you can't do it in the Icelandic big book. It's the same word. Okay? You know, that is stuff that will change your perspective. Okay? You, you, that's, there are, and then, you know, if inventory is, is getting boring, do a laser. Do, do, do a theater of the lie. Especially guys breaking up with girls or, 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 <laughs> or especially the guys that broke up with girls they never dated, but, uh, <laughs> uh, or, yeah, or where the girl doesn't know where that they were dating. Um, <laughs> they, they, they can get a lot out of, out of, out of, out of theater of the lie. And for the really sick old timers, do a 17 area inventory. You know, because if I knew how fucked up I was when I came in here, just the inventory I did the fall of 2013. And it was sex inventory. It was a sex ideal inventory. I did that in Oslo because I had reached the end of the end of my rope with end of the rope with 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 something that affected me profoundly. Take another look. But the point isn't fixing fixing my life. It makes makes it easier for me to do. Having done that inventory, it makes me easy, it makes it easier for me to talk to a newcomer with a certain set of problems. And that is, I think, you know, that's a, that's the litmus test. That's the acid test. You know, do newcomers. However long they've been sober, and 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 maybe maybe I should should end with with reading a little bit. You know, sorry for my for my accent. The tremendous fact for every one of us is that we have discovered the common solution. We have a way out on which we can absolutely agree, and upon which. We can join in brotherly and harmonious action. This is the great news this book carries to those who suffer from alcoholism. An illness of this sort, and please note that it doesn't say disease. That's one exercise. Find the word disease in the big book, okay? (laughs) 
an illness of the sort, and we have come to believe it an illness, involves those about us in a way no other human sickness can. If a person has cancer, all are sorry for him, and no one is angry or hurt. But not so with the alcoholic illness, for with it becomes annihilation of all the things worthwhile in life. It engulfs all whose lives touch the sufferers. It brings misunderstanding, fierce resentment, financial insecurity, disgusted friends and employers, warped lives of blameless children, sad wives and parents. Anyone can increase the list. Yeah, and the, and the solution is just stop drinking, right? We hope this volume will inform and comfort those who are or, or who may be affected. There are many. Highly competent psychiatrists who have dealt with us have found it sometimes impossible to persuade an alcoholic to discuss his situation without res reserve. Strangely enough, wives, parents, and intimate friends usually find us even more unapproachable than do the psychiatrist and the doctor. But the ex-problem drinker who has found this solution, who is properly armed with facts about himself, can generally win the entire confidence of another alcoholic in a few hours. Until such an understanding is reached, little or nothing can be accomplished. That a man who is making the approach has had the same difficulty that he is obviously knows that he obviously knows what he is talking about, that his whole deportment shouts at the new prospect that he is a man with a real answer, that he has no attitude of holier than thou, nothing whatever except the sincere desire to be helpful, that there are no fees to pay, no access to grant, no people to please, no lectures to be endured. These are the conditions we have found most effective. After such an approach, many take off their beds and walk again. It's right there in the big book. I don't know how often, often you guys read this, but, you know, I love this. I'm here because somebody reached out his hand. He's not my sponsor. He has helped me a lot. He, he has never had the office of sponsor, but he has helped me a lot. And he's probably the single per, the person who is single most responsible for me standing here today. Really. And we play this role in each, other li each other's lives with our good and bad examples, you know. Y you, you know, th those in here who are unwilling to make amends because of some, some stuff, they can be an example of how much what life's, life looks like with unmade amends. Or they can be an example of, of a lost opportunity because they killed themselves. We, the others are watching you. You know, we are all watching each other. There is no lineage. There is no line. If you only listen to your sponsor, you're missing out on a lot of experience. A lot. Uh, you know. And, and basically, you know, show others that, you know, don't fall, fall into the, into the, you know, what for me and for them, the last point, for me and for them, you know, show them that it's okay, that you can do stuff in life that has nothing to do with Alcoholics Anonymous, but, it, you know, you, you can't really, you know, I can't really shake the idea that everything I do at work or whatever, whatever, has everything to do with Alcoholics Anonymous. You know, my, 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 my amends that I have to be, keep current on are basically customers that I need to, to help. You know, that's, you know, my life is simple, but, uh, so show them. These are tools that can be used anywhere, not just in a meeting. You know, if AA is just a meeting for you, you are missing out. You're selling yourself short. Real short. And, and, you know, and, and, uh, it's all AA, even though it's not AA. You know, what do you want AA to be? Remember, I view, you know, read that. It's short. You know, don't be a guest in AA. Participate. 
If you have fucked up your life, you are supremely qualified to help others. It's a thing that you don't want to miss out on. You know. And they can be your, be the boss at work. It could be anybody. I don't know. I, I don't know. But there, there are, you know, you know, it, it's, it's real, it's, it's real great that I, I paid the tax man back. It simplifies my life a lot too. Being debt free is awesome. I just want to tell you, it's, it's fucking awesome. And I did that as an amends. Really simple. I did that as an amends. And, and, you know, I'm not rich, I'm not anything, you know. And, you know, you can, but it's, you know, but just, you know, if you can dream it, you can do it. Don't let somebody tell you that you're not sober long enough. You know. Don't, I, the biggest change that I have inflicted on AA is something that I did with, what, a uh, little over a year sober. You know, it's that, that fucking website that I try not to mention, you know. And I don't think of it, you know, I don't think of it. I want to talk to a newcomer, I don't think of it. It's, it's just, it's just there. And once in a while I get a bad conscience and I need to do something with it and, 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 and the guys are, are, you know, you know, chew me out every, every once in a while and, and, you know, you need to do something and something and something. And some of them have fears and some of them don't. Most of them are just okay. And, and it has changed AA to a degree. And, and that's, that's what it is, but it's not me, you know. It's not me going to the download and download and download and download and download. I would sit and watch that screen and refresh the status, how many downloads that I've had. And, and, and I thought I could get something out of it. But really, what I did needed to do was make amends. <laughs> you know, yes, you're uh, counting sponsees. <sighs> it's not worth anything. You know, I'd rather be able to sit down and, and, and really explain spiritu- the spiritual way of living that the book outlines and translate that, you know, from Icelandic to Icelandic, <laughs> you know, and I, 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 I get the impression that you guys need, need to translate it from English to English. <laughs> uh, I'd rather do that than, than, than anything else, than go to a movie or go to a concert or don't do anything. It's because it gives so much. It's so much and, 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 and the, the feeling that I have that I, when, when I got in that, and, 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 you know, when I sat down with him, that I'm, oh, let's do this, oh, yet another idiot that really won't do anything, you know? And, and my life is all messy, I need to do this and this and this, you know, I need to, you know, go to the dry cleaners and why I'm wasting my time here on this newcomer, la 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 la. And, and we stand up, and I don't have any problems anymore. It puts shit into context. You know, if I'm only in my mind, I'm only in my mind. You know, action is the great equalizer. It shows you. You know, if you want to see what you believe, look at your actions. If you if you believe, you know, steps are great, but you only make meetings. You know, you don't really believe that. You know, I, I don't. You know. Now I've been sober a while, taking some drunks through the steps. I found the bunch of shit. I found the fucking duck. You know, I forgot about duck. You know, and, 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 and you know, there's stuff in the past. You know, there's, there are guys that have, that have, have done horrible things. And, and there was, was a military, American military guy who was in Iceland. And, and, and once he, you know, we did, did a bit of reading the big book and he did some step work and, and that basically was like a peeling a banana and, and his PTSD came out. You know. I have no, nothing to, you know, and then he left the country. But, it's, you know, I don't, you know, we, we, we are the, you know, you know, the spearheads of God's ever advancing creation. That's the stuff that we should be doing, and that can, we can do in the in the rooms, and we can do that outside of the rooms. Absolutely. 
you know, and, and, and yeah, let me, let me, let me close with, with one thing. So it's in the back, it's page. It's page 163. We know of an AA member who was living in a large community. He had lived there but a few weeks when he found that he that the place probably contained more alcoholics per square mile than any city in the country. This was only a few days ago at this writing, 1939. The authorities were much concerned. He got in touch with a prominent psychiatrist who had undertaken certain responsibilities for the mental health of the community. The doctor proved to be an able and exceedingly anxious to be able and ex exceedingly anxious to adopt any workable method of handling the situation. So he inquired, what did our friend have on the ball? Our friend proceeded to tell him, and with such good effect that the doctor agreed to test among his patients uh, to to a test among his patients and certain other alcoholics from a clinic which he attends. Arrangements were also made with the chief psychiatrist of a large public hospital to select still others from a stream of misery, from the stream of misery which flows through the, that institution. So our fellow worker will soon have friends galore. Some of them may sink and perhaps never get up, but if our experience is a criterion, more than half of those approached will become fellows of Alcoholics Anonymous when a few men in the city have found themselves and have discovered the joy of helping others to face life again, there will be no stopping until everyone in that town has had his opportunity to recover, if he can and will. Still, you may say, but I will not have the benefit of contact with you who write this book. Or, yeah, but I've only been sober one year, or two months, or one week, or whatever. I have a holy excuse. We cannot be sure. God will determine that. So you must remember that your real reliance is always upon him. He will show you how to create the fellowship you crave. Our book is meant to be suggestive only. About what? Dr. Bob says that if you have pride and stuff that blocks you away from accepting what this book has to offer, you know, that's your thing. But he is sure that he has a solution for you. The book is meant to be suggestive only on how to, to create a fellowship. We realize we know only a little period about what, how to create a fellowship. God will constantly disclose more to you and to us. Ask him in your morning meditation what you can do each day for the man who is still sick. The answers will come if your own house is in order. That's why we make amends. But obviously you cannot transmit something you haven't got. Don't try. Yeah, yeah. Please do your best with your amends before you start telling people what to do with their lives, okay? See to that your, your relationship with him is right. And not good. It's right. And great events will come to pass for you and countless others. This is the great fact for us. Abandon yourself to God as you understand God. Admit your faults to him and to your fellows. Clear away the records of the past. Give freely of what you find and join us. We shall be with you in the fellowship of the Spirit, and you will surely meet some of us as you tread the road of happy destiny. May God bless you and keep you until then. Really simple, guys. Really, really, really simple. So, questions? The question is, what are my thoughts on, on after doing the 12 steps, studying the 12 steps and the 12 traditions, the 12 and 12? Tr traditions, traditions and the concept. I think it's great. I think it's, I think it's awesome. I've had some great experiences in a, in a 12 and 12, 12 and 12, well, in a, in a traditions and concepts meeting that we started. Absolutely. But if you're doing that instead of working with a newcomer, I think you're missing out. Uh, Basically, you can't eat instead of sleeping, and you can't sleep instead of eating, you know? It's, 
the, the, the blood of AA is, you know, is newcomers. And, 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 you know, you, and yes, you can get a lot of intellectual stuff out of that. And I've done that. I've done intellectual stuff. Uh, you know, but when you can explain the, the traditions to a newcomer, that's awesome. You know, how it affects his life and his recovery. That's awesome stuff. You know, ju just like the simple seventh tradition in, in your personal life. You know, being self, self-reliant financially. That's awesome stuff. And, and yes, yes, absolutely study it. It's, it's good. Uh, question is, what keeps me going uh, after years of sobriety? Um, what what keeps me going is is you know somebody you know this is thing in the beginning we go to meetings because we have to, then we go because we want to, and then we go because it's eight o'clock. Uh, that's a really simple way of saying it. It's, however, not everything doesn't encompass everything that drives me. What drives me is, is I'll go around and terrorize newcomers. That's, I believe you have some terrorists who terrorize new, newcomers here. And that's a service, you know. And not to, you know, beat them down, but, you know, it's, 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 I, I, for one newcomer, the only thing you can do for him is be nice to him. And for another newcomer, the only thing you can do for him is be nasty to him. And, you know, there's no set rules. And, and, and what I get is I'm interested in, 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 like, I go to the Wednesday meeting because that's the first meeting I came to after I moved to Oslo. I go to the Tuesday night meeting because it's a man's stack. I go to, go to the Icelandic meeting because, it, because I'm Icelandic. I go to the Friday meeting because I, you know, I need to be a good example for Norwegians and show them how a real meeting is with a podium and stuff. <laughs> you know, you know, it's, it's different stuff. And and along the way, I, I find guys to talk to. You know, and sometimes I never see them again. And 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 but I hear I heard one thing. I I I I I made an amends once, uh, and I was asked to go to a to a shrink. I told the shrink my story. He told me that, that violence is of four types, uh, four types of violence, and they're all the same in the end, not on the receiving end of violence, but, but, but on the action end of violence. I told that story to some guy, some random guy that came to a meeting. And he's not an alcoholic, but his friend is. He's an A member. And he told me that, that just, just giving the longer version of that story really changed his life. And, and that's awesome. I did that just because I, 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 I went to a meeting and I yapped something before the meeting to somebody that was there at random. And it's, it's, it's a little piece of, of who I am. I've, the only thing I wanted out of AA when I came was being some, something, some, somebody people could point at and say, that guy is okay. That's the only thing I wanted. And that's the only thing I got. <laughs> Any questions? More? The question is, is there anything I do with sponsees after they've been sober for a while? Uh, I've done stuff. I've shown, I've showed them how to meditate. I've done stuff. I don't do that anymore. I am not a sponsor. I don't sponsor guys. I will answer any question related to AA. I will show them, but I don't have a recipe for anybody because that recipe is basically, you know, <laughs> it's gumbo, you know, it's, Different stuff, but it's all the same. <laughs> uh, it's uh, uh, no, I, I don't do anything really. I talk to them a lot. We we talk. We meet at meetings. We we talk on the phone. I, you know, and we will. And what happens happens. That's that's my method. Some guys do the twelve on twelve, you know, after the after the big book and stuff, and that's fine. I don't know how to. It's never made any sense to me. If you do that, hey, that's great. You know, it's it's awesome. You know, it's no, but there are there are. There, we'll do theater of the lie when they go when they go nuts, and uh, you know, I'll do some stuff, but it's all you know ad hoc. There, there's no method or rule. I don't. I try not to get hooked up, hooked on method. More questions? Yes. 
<laughs> yeah. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Sobercast is ad-free, and we'd like your help in order to keep it that way. So if you'd like to help us be self-supporting by pledging a dollar to a month, visit Sobercast.com and look for the donate links. Thank you very much.